This is part two of the lesson, The Origin of Nike. All right, now I showed the image of Athena, and I'm going to go into some information about her. Okay, the goddess of Athens. And these are the different, I have listed uh, on the left, Athena, which is, these are the different uh, pronunciations. Athena, Athena, and Athenia. All right. Now I'm going to read some information about Athena. Athena, also referred to as Pallas Athena, is the goddess of war, civilization, wisdom, strength, strategy, crafts, justice, and skill in Greek mythology. All right. Athena is also shrewd, a, a companion of heroes and the goddess of heroic endeavors. She is the virgin patron of Athens. The Athenians built the Parthenon on the Acropolis of her namesake city, Athens, in her honor. Okay. If you have a strong concordance, I'm, I want you all to put in a number. And the strongest number is 116. Athene. A-T-H-E-N-E. -E. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the camera around and I'm going to read in the Strong's. So, again, this is affiliated. You know, the Strong's Concordance is the Greek and the Hebrew. The Hebrew Bible. Okay. Strong's Lection Search Results. You can put that in Google and you can pull this up yourself. Athena. Right? The goddess of wisdom. So you don't think I'm making this stuff up. Who was reputed to have founded the city. The capital of Greece. Look at 117. Athenius. An Athenian or inhabitant of Athene. Athen. See that? So when you're wearing Nikes, the people that made Nike up don't believe in God, period. They believe in the goddess of victory and Athena, which is the goddess of Athens. All right. And that's what they believe in. They don't believe in the God of gods. Now, let me show you that this is in the word of God as well. If you turn to uh, Acts chapter 17. OK, and uh, I'm going to start at the. I'm going to start at the. Uh, The 21st verse. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. So they wasn't trying to hear what Paul was saying. I'm giving you an overview of what happened. Basically, in this chapter, Paul had went to Thessalonica uh, to preach the gospel to, to Jews in the synagogue. And in the synagogue, basically, uh, he was preaching to them. And a few of them didn't believe what Paul was saying. So what happened was a riot broke out. And when this riot broke out, the whole uh, town of Jason, the house of Jason, was in an uproar. And then he went to Athens. So we started the 21st verse again. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but their, I mean, but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too suspicious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with 
this inscription to the unknown God. So they say unknown. Whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. God hath made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord, heaven and earth dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything seen. He giveth to all life and breath and all things. He give everything. We don't need no other gods. We don't need anybody to make an image of, of the cross, paintings of Christ, none of that. Because all it is is idolatry. That's what it is. That's why the Bible says, thou shalt not make any engraven images of the heaven uh, above and the earth beneath. Okay? Or the waters beneath. Excuse me. I wanted to read that so you would know that this is affiliated with Nike. So when you got Nikes on your feet, all you have is the spirit of atheism on your feet. If you work at Walmart and you got a Kmart smock, you're going to get fired. Period. You can't mix righteousness with atheism. Okay? Look out for part three.